Hey guys, it's Benjamin with Benjamin's Exotics, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a complete review of these lab mouse breeding cages coming from reptilebasics.com. So today I want to do a quick little video doing a review on these lab mouse rodent breeding cages that you can actually get from Reptile Basics and I guess with the state of YouTube now, I say this up front, this is not a sponsored video, obviously I've sent Reptile Basics way more money than they have ever sent me. So uh, these are basically a really nice little cage that you are going to use for breeding maybe smaller pieces of rodents but in this case we're just doing your common lab feeder mice and on their website it says that you could probably house a trio of mice in these uh, we actually have one litter that I've actually I fed a few of the babies off but there's still quite a few hoppers and adult that's dad that's mom in this tub, so I don't really think that a trio is that realistic. I mean, if you had two litters at once, I think this would get quite crowded, and you would probably have all kinds of problems with just too much feces, not enough room to move around. But for a pair of mice, one male, one female, and babies, this works excellently. I've had these now for quite a few months, but it's been within about the last month or so that I've really put these to the test, and I have to say that I am quite impressed. We used to have lots of the older style rodent breeding tubs and they would always be made of like this see-through kind of um, plastic but not like you see on the snake tanks. So this is Sterilite. Sterilite is a great brand. They make very nice good quality products. Not this kind of plastic. It would almost be like a glass sort of plastic and it would be see-through and the second you dropped it, it would crack and break just like glass. And over time, the urates from the rodents would actually stain the bottom of the tub yellow. It just wasn't a good situation. And over time, they discolored. These tubs are really, I mean, I can't say enough good things about these. These are actually uh, really thick. You can't tell, maybe so good on camera, but these are a very thick, high quality tub, much thicker than even a Sterilite tub that we use for the ball pythons, and you know, it's quite uh, quite durable. I think you could drop this off of a very large building, and I don't even think this would crack. Of course, you'd beat it up, but this is like a really nice, strong tub. You can't tell, but on the inside, the bottom is completely flat, making for very easy disinfecting and cleaning of your rodent tubs, and I really like that they're using this high quality, durable plastic now, instead of the old style, which again, would crack and break and discolor. Um, as you can see, we're just using pine shavings. Finer would be a little bit better than these big chunks, but it's what we have right now, so that's working pretty good. And we are using, on the top, this is actually Missouri, I believe it's a 6F breeder for your mice, and this has worked pretty good. So there's a bunch of pros, of course stainless steel, very easy to clean. They have the ring around here, that was another problem, sometimes you get these uh, bottles and they would actually chew through the plastic and then start to leak, which is just a nightmare. And oh, also with these bottles, very nice build, high quality plastic, very high quality nipple, I mean it's a very sturdy design and they really put a lot of thought into this. Now those are all the pros, there are a few cons with this design as well. One thing that I kind of, when I first got it, I was really kind of annoyed about it and it was something that I've uh, made adjustments for and I've kind of changed my thought over time which is actually the locking mechanism on these tubs with the old style not that you get from reptile basics but the old lab rodent breeding style cages uh, the ones that would be like the clear plastic that wasn't very good plastic even those had a latching side but as you can see this did not come with the tubs, of course, this is something that I just put on here DIY and I have it taped down. There's no latches on this design. And when I first got it, I was like, are they crazy? The mice are gonna get out and whatever. But if you actually look at it, they have this done quite good so that the uh, touching point, if you will, on the metal 
is out here, and then there's actually this entire space where it bends down perfectly so that the rodents can't actually push up on this very good. And even if you did get a very large mouse that was very strong and could push up on this, I do not think that with a full water bottle and all of the food that it would be that strong to push this off. However, I don't really get why they didn't include any clips, because typically, like with the old design, you would have a metal clip right here, and on this lip, on the tub, it'd come down and it would clip on that. I don't get why they didn't include this with these tubs, because they did include it with their larger rat breeding tubs, which are not quite ideal for mice, because there's more height and the babies have problems getting food and water on different occasions. So I don't really get that, but in this case, I've just added a little bit of a buckle on each side with just some foil tape to tape it down, and that's worked pretty good. I've had no escapes, and even leaving this, I did a test for about a week or two with this not uh, clamp down and obviously with this heavy water bottle and the food on top they're not able to escape however again kind of just disappointed I don't know why that wasn't included the other sort of negative I mean this is a great product but the only other negative thing I could talk about is actually the water bottle and again it's kind of just a personal preference when we used to get lots of these water bottles for the feeder rodents that actually have a ball in the tip of the nipple of the bottle so basically they have a little uh, I think it's just a like tin ball or something that would sit in there and then the rodents would come up and they would push their tongue on that little ball and that would let the water come out of the bottle. So these don't actually have that. And at first I was kind of a little bit again kind of turned off by it because as you can see when I hold it, it drips. Just like that, and I'm, I'm moving with my hands, so I'm making it you know, subtle, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna all be leaking into the rodent's enclosure, and it's kind of a, a positive and a negative. So if I take this and I set this right into one of the tubs, it's gonna leak for just a few seconds. You can see the water adjusting, but then afterwards, <laughs> that little guy's going to drink in the water, but then afterwards, if you keep the cage quite steady and you don't mess with it, the water will basically, um, it'll set in and it'll be just basically the exact same design but without the ball. Now while this does cause a bit of a problem because anytime you take this on or off, you're going to get some water to actually go down into your bedding which can cause mold and bacteria and stuff like that. The one advantage that this does have is cleaning with the old design where you would have a bottle just like this that would have the ball at the top at the top of the nipple so they would just press on the ball and the water would come out. With those designs if you got mold or anything in that ball it was basically impossible to clean and if we actually work this off <laughs> it's not probably going to come off if I don't have two hands, but essentially if I was to take this off It has of course an opening at the bottom of the kind of rubber cork And you could literally just take something like a pipe cleaner and just go through here Maybe even put some F10 or some sort of disinfectant with a pipe cleaner wash this out And this is going to be a lot easier to clean than your Nipples that had the ball on the end, but again, you have to kind of evaluate for yourself. Is that uh, an advantage or a disadvantage? Easier to clean, but you are going to leak some water into your enclosures. And this is not something that I can carry around the building, just going from, you know, tub to tub feeding stuff. Because if I do that, again, you're going to leak all this in the cage. So it's kind of, you know, it's a, it's a, there's pluses and minuses. And you guys have to kind of determine on your own whether or not those are going to work for you. But overall, I mean, I'm very happy with this design, as you guys have. I've seen in here we have quite a few babies this was a litter of 10 I've already fed some of them off and they're just little cute hoppers that at this age are so excited that oh you know I can move and I can bite as well with some of them but they're doing quite well in this setup and with any luck we also have a few other cultures set up and I hopefully will be getting more of these in once reptile basics restocks but here's another setup the females a little bit beat up from the male but nothing too bad and that's basically it for this review. I highly recommend, very good setup, and a definitely an improvement in some ways from the previous designs that some of these different reptile companies have made for our feeder rodents. But again, there are a few disadvantages with the uh, latches on the cage, and of course, there's no uh, locking system to prevent leaking from these bottles. So again, kind of just have to weigh the pros and the cons for your own rodents, but that's just about it. Don't chew on that. And that's gonna be just about it for today's video. So if you guys did like and enjoy today's video, and also if you liked these cute little mice in this rodent breeding setup, make sure to like, 
comment and subscribe to this video. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.